Um, new rocks are up. Okay. Ah, uh, they got him. He's got a bubble. Nope. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> you that like that? So sick. <laughs> When it comes to Halo Infinite, just about everybody has a long list of features that they want to see in the game at launch. And I'm no different. I was playing Halo 3 with my friends the other night, and the topic of conversation came up. Here's the things that spurred a lot of excitement for us in terms of features we want to see in Infinite at launch. And I know you guys are definitely going to have some great ideas for this as well, so leave them down below in the comments. Please note that the things I'm sharing here are not the most pertinent features to be in Infinite at launch. These are more just a couple of pipe dream features that I hope could be there and I think will be great for the game if they are. The first one was crossplay. I think everybody can see the benefit of uniting both the PC and the console player base. It's something I want to see coming to MCC sooner rather than later, but with Infinite I think it's mandatory. I don't know if an official comment has been made if it's going to happen within Infinite, but one of the big concerns that I hope is addressed is balancing of the sandbox between mouse and keyboard players versus controller players. I don't think Reach handled it super gracefully. We had the Anaheim tournament this last weekend, saw some cool clips from Twitter of a few players running mouse and keyboard when they were sniping and then back to the controller for the DMR. For the most part, everybody was rocking the controller, it looked like, for the event. And so with Infinite, I hope that the gameplay is being designed in a way that keeps mouse players a little bit more in mind because that represents a huge population source for Halo players. I know for me, I'm somebody who grew up on Halo 2 and Halo 3, yet the majority of the FPS games I play now are on PC. And most of my friends who grew up in that era are on PC these days for their FPS games. If they can have a good experience with Halo on PC, as well as uniting the console players at the same time, I think it spells nothing but big success for Infinite moving forward. The second idea that I liked thinking about and hope Infinite will implement is some sort of in-game tournaments function, kind of the way that StarCraft 2 does it. I feel like there's a big gap right now between players wanting to play Halo at a little bit more of a competitive level, but they don't know where to bridge the gap. They don't want to travel yet to an event because that's a lot of money. You have to find three dedicated friends who are ready to spend that money with you and practice for weeks and weeks together online getting ready for the event. I feel like there could be a nice stopgap where in-game features would let you compete in tournaments with your friends or against other people online utilizing your in-game rank. Halo 5 already has kind of the molding necessary for this. It wouldn't be just a system only for the top 200 players. If you're a bronze player and you want to participate in a bronze tournament coming up this Friday night, you and your team of three can do so and you'll match other people of bronze in that rank. Yeah, it brings up a whole concern about smurfing and all that jazz, but if you haven't played StarCraft 2, it actually has a little bit of these tournament functions where you can start playing against other folks, best two out of three, and you can start to experience a little bit more of the competitive vibe. And I wanna see that. I'd also like to see it extended to free-for-all. There's so many players who enjoy Halo, who play competitively online in the ranked playlists and maybe want to take it a step further, but they don't have the ability to take that leap just yet, to play two out of threes, or to be able to fly to an event. And I think an in-game tournament feature would be massive for the game. Moving on, I think I'd like to see the return of the party up button. How many of you remember finishing a game of Halo 3 and in the post game screen, you hit X to party up with that group so you could either run the match back or maybe create a team with some of the folks from that match. I really, really miss that feature. A lot of friends back in my Halo 3 and Reach days were made that way. It also gave teams the chance to say, hey, let's make it a two out of three. Let's run it again. The removal of that feature really, I feel like impacted negatively the sense of community that was always there with the older Halo games. Now granted, that was the heyday of Xbox Live. There was plenty of trash talk and crazy things happening over the mic, but the scene felt alive. It felt like you were a part of something. And you'd run into similar players if you were playing ranked over and over again. You'd start recognizing them and just partying up and continuing on with the grind. It was really cool and I think it should return. Along those same lines of the tournament side of the game, I think it'd be pretty awesome if players could spectate tournament matches in game utilizing um, a spectator system, and getting to watch matches the same way that you can in CSGO. When a match is going on, you get the chance to hop in there, view the different perspectives, watch it all while you control the camera system. 
Obviously, Halo is something that's massively successful because it balances both satisfying casual players, foragers, people interested in single player, and of course, on the multiplayer side, there's a full spectrum of BTB to social to snipers and the competitive player base. I don't want to see, you know, Halo Infinite take a super hard esports stance to where it sacrifices other areas of the game, but I really would like the chance to watch some of these players in their tournament matches spectating it live through the game itself. Additionally, I hope that there's a very robust replay system with Halo Infinite. If you guys watched the channel between 2012 and 2015, 16, you know I did a lot of replay reviews where I would look back at your gameplays and we'd talk about decisions that were made and just areas that you could improve at as a player. Back in the days of Halo 3, the replay system was absolutely amazing. At the time, that was so unprecedented. But ever since then, it really hasn't progressed and in some ways has regressed. I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter V lately and it has a really in-depth replay system to where the players who are high on the leaderboards are continually getting a lot of viewership on their replays so you can see what these high level players are doing. They almost become a bit of in-game celebrities. You see them participating in these local tournaments and then you can look in the replay system and see, oh man, what is his play style doing that lends him to be like number 26 on the leaderboard? I'd absolutely love to see that with Halo Infinite to where the community is bolstered further by the high skilled players getting the chance to show off their gameplay to would be aspiring players in that type of a ecosystem. Now, again, like I said, most of those suggestions lean towards the competitive side of the game, which if you guys watch the channel, I like the competitive side of Halo, but it's only a small facet of the enjoyment I get out of it. More so, I think any feature that can help bolster the sense of community is something that should be prioritized because back in that heyday, the Halo 3 cultural phenomenon era, the sense of community was incredible. Everybody knew who played Halo in their local scene. You kind of knew where you fit in with that hierarchy of your friend group. Online, you knew all these people from your friend list of, oh, that was that guy from that killer 8v8 session. He's really good, invite him to this match. Or there's this other guy, remember, he's got the sickest collection of custom games, invite him, let's get a lobby going. And I think for the most part over the last few years, that part of the game has diminished, that sense of community. And I think Infinite has a huge opportunity and a great chance to recapture that and reignite the scene in a super awesome way. Those are just a few features I'd like to see with Infinite at launch, and I wanna hear what you guys think are really important. As I mentioned, these features are not the end all be all. These are just a couple of things that I think would be cool, but if you're talking about, oh man, it needs to have XYZ at launch or it won't be successful. No, these are more so just cool features that I think could help the sense of community. So with that said, let me know your ideas down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little alarm bell, and follow me over on Twitter at BBKDragoon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.